We chip grade 30 chip which is um, a standard amount for this type of boiler and we, we load this in with a tractor from our store at the back of the shed and uh, uh, this is drawn into the um, boiler through the auger um, which is at the bottom of this chip bay. Uh, measures the amount that it, it needs and then it, it carries on feeding it uh, through a drop chamber in and then it's reaugered back into the boiler. We store it in the back of this barn and then um, once every couple of months we fill the chip bay. Um, so this is really the bay for um, uh, ready for it to be conveyed into the boiler room. This is a 50 kilowatt ETA boiler. Um, most of these are Austrian made and there are some Italian, a few others. But this is, this is a, a fairly common make. Um, they're very reliable, we found. Most of the trouble you're likely to have is the chip. And if it's not um, equal grade, you know, like there's too much dust or the stones in it or uh, too big a pieces, then it's more or less operator error. The gas is driven off the chip uh, prematurely um, by a, a pre-burn and then it's fanned back in and then burned hotter through the jets at the back. Um, and that's how you get the efficiency. Yeah, this is the sort of ash that, that you should be getting out, nice and fine. And what we do is we, we put that back onto the land um, just to get rid of it. The, the, the quantities aren't large, but you know, it's useful. These two dials m measure the um, flow of heat and water going in and out. And, uh, and to the buffer tank, which is here, that stores 2,500 litres of water. This pump senses the demand and alters the flow. The pump itself is uh, capable of detecting the demand and increasing the flow. Um, so these dials show you the differential in uh, temperature going out and temperature coming back. The buffer tank is really a big storage tank and acts as a damper. So all the time it's storing heat and hot water. Um, so if there's a big demand and the boiler can't keep up, the buffer tank is enabling a constant flow of hot water 24 hours a day. We would measure the, the humidity of the, the chip and we were, we're looking for a humidity of approximately 10 to 15 percent humidity. Here we've got 12, anywhere up to 20 is okay but we're, we're looking at 10 to 15 percent here and we're spot on with that. A large tree, um, it could be hazel or oak. I think if we put it through the chipper at 14 inch diameter, um, we're looking at uh, maybe half a cubic meter, depending on the length of the tree. We export to a three bedroom cottage and his bill per quarter uh, is around 350 pounds. So it's cheaper than oil. We obviously take the, the wood um, from a uh, local supply here, the wood that's annexed to our farm. We do that work in the winter because the leaves are off the tree and it's safer to do it at that time. It's also kinder to the wildlife. Although we can work all year round with it, we tend to, we tend to work on cold, dry periods of the winter. And we try and work our schedule around that. We, we cut the wood, bring it out and dry it in the field ready for chipping in the summer. We do it in the field because it's away from the community. It's quite a noisy process, so uh, we do it there um, just because of convenience. We've got lots of space and then we tractor it to the shed uh, ready for drying. It's very dark in there in the summertime, so um, we're obviously managing it as a coppice wood. And we're fortunate here, we have excavators, tractors and trailers on the site. We can uh, uh, make extra use of those. Uh, we bought a set of cheer tree shears, uh, 14 inch tree shears, um, which we mount on an excavator and we just carefully go through the wood, um, removing the top of the tree first, the crown, and because this is a neglected wood, uh, the trees have gone uh, very slender. So it means we can come down the wood up down the tree in three meter lengths and stack them in a pile ready for the forwarder to pick up and take it to the roadside. Because they're in the dark there's no, there's no uh, undergrowth on the tree so they're fighting for the light so 
normal tree tree growth is that they will uh, develop a small crown when they're close together and they will grow straight and thin. Ideal for us for the chipping. Um, and we'll let that coppice grow back again. And, uh, and then we'll have light on the floor and, and we'll have a variety of wildlife. And we won't be putting any trees, we'll be letting them re-coppice. Um, and uh, they will mature in a matter of six or seven years and uh, the wood will come back to a, a more even nature whereas at the moment the whole block is a neglected wood so we'll have compartment by compartment at different stages of the coppice management which will attract the wildlife and the bees and flowers and all the normal things that would live in a managed wood